Hey guys, what's up? Pasay Butter here. This is now the fourth game for today. Uh, March 15, 2023. Again, fourth game. We got seven uh, seven games or seven predictions. So just uh, stick around for those who are waiting for the other games or the other predictions. This one will be uh, between Los Angeles Lakers and Houston Rockets. That will be at around 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread that is given is minus 2.5, and that's actually given towards the visiting team, the Los Angeles Lakers. And uh, let's go ahead and check on the standings first of uh, uh, these two teams before we proceed. Starting off with Los Angeles Lakers, they are at number 10. By the way, both belong to the Western Conference. Uh, Los Angeles Lakers, they are currently at number 10, uh, holding on to that 34 wins and 35 uh, losses record. Um, while for Houston, record, uh, Houston Rockets, I'm sorry, they are at number 15, and they got a record of 16 wins and 52 losses. Alright, so Houston Rockets, they would have the home court advantage on this. In terms of uh, fatigue, well, um, Houston Rockets also got the advantage on this because uh, the Lakers actually played last night, uh, and that was the uh, New Orleans Pelicans when they actually blew that one away, beating New Orleans by 15 points. Now, in terms of momentum, uh, both teams are coming off wins, but if we would take a look at the forms, well, Los Angeles Lakers would have the uh, advantage because they have won 7 out of their last 10. While for Houston Rockets, they have only won 3 out of their last 10. Now let's take a look at the availability of the players and the... Hold up. Oh, right there you go. Sorry about that. Where was I? Um, uh, the availability of the players and then the health of both of uh, these two teams. Starting off with uh, Houston Rockets, it's the same thing. Um, Send good, Alperin Send good is actually listed as questionable for this game. While for Le Los Angeles Lakers, wow, uh, huge um, uh, uh, sit downs for the Lakers. LeBron James still not available. Anthony Davis and Mo Bamba. So literally huge players at the same time. Uh, huge players in terms of their value. So in terms of health. Um, Houston Rockets would also have the, adva the advantage because uh, their top uh, their top players, namely Porter and Jalen Green, are both available right there. Woohoo! This is this one's gonna be tough, and now I understand as to why there were a lot of uh, um, subscribers asking for this one in the, in uh, in the comments, and there were also some asking me through Messenger. So. Now I understand. Um, the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, they don't have LeBron, they don't have Anthony Davis, they don't have Bamba. Houston Rockets, they are having some advantages, you know. Uh, they are playing at home. They are well-rested. The Lakers ain't. Um, and they are the healthier team. Again, I'm talking about Houston Rockets. Woo! We all know Houston Rockets won't be able to make it to the playoffs, right? Uh, but Los Angeles Lakers, they are currently at number 10 in the West. Um, they're not yet safe, so they would actually need um, as, as many wins as they uh, as possible that they could add so that they can secure um, a spot on that 7-10 to 10 puzzle. So uh, we have two teams here with the different scenarios, right? Houston Rockets, of course, they would want to uh, build on uh, what they have right now, um, and they would want to, of course, try some you know, some combinations right there. And they would also want to make a follow up on that huge win that they had against Boston Celtics. Man, who would have thought that they would have, you know, that they would beat Boston? Right? I did not know that. I, I love Houston, but I did not know that. <laughs> um, this is going to be tough. You know, this is going to be tough. I'm looking at the uh, backcourt, D'Angelo Russell and Malik Beasley. They would be the uh, they would be the main um, sources of uh, offense of Los Angeles Lakers now that they don't have LeBron. Now that now that they don't have Anthony Davis. Now these two players would go up against Kevin Porter Jr. and Jalen Green, the best players of Houston Rockets. Now it's going to be very hard for Be for Beasley and Russell. To actually uh, try to uh, put the stop on those two, 
those two are longer those two are more athletic and that's gonna be a it, it's it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough i know d'angelo russell knows uh how to step up when he needs to but this one's gonna be tough for them you know uh knowing that they have they also have to uh uh, put on some defense on the main scores of Houston Rockets. Now, I'm looking at the bigs of the Los Angeles Lakers. Tentatively, they would have Vanderbilt and uh, Hachimura on their starting position. Um, Kenyon Martin, Jabari Smith Jr., those are the bigs of their Rockets, man. The Rockets got a chance on this, man. This one's, good. This one's really interesting, interesting, but... I know the Lakers need this, so they have you know they have pressure. While well, Houston Rockets, they they are playing loose. They are at home. They are a bit confident, and uh, knowing that they just beat Boston Celtics, and right now, man, Boston is just a better team than Lo Los Angeles, right? So, um, I'm pretty sure that Houston Rockets must be a bit confident approaching this game. I'm gonna side with Houston Rockets, and I'll go ahead and just uh, take that plus 2.5 spread. I understand that, that there's a huge uh, possibility that uh, this this one would be close, um, so I'm gonna take that plus 2.5. And you know, in any case, that you know, it will be like a heartbreak, uh, a heartbreaking win or loss. Um, it could go either way, but I'm gonna side with Houston Rockets because they got more advantages. They are at home, they are well rested, um, they are playing more loose. The Lakers got the pressure, and uh, the Houston Rockets. They have their stars that they have their stars as compared to Lakers, where in both Davis and James would be sitting down. Again, it's Rockets plus 2.5. Peace out, passe love, and God bless.